Now we'll see how to simplify complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction that has another fraction within it. So for example, 2 thirds divided by 5 would be a complex fraction. We have a numerator over a denominator, but the numerator itself is another fraction. So we have a fraction within a fraction. Or we could have 7 over 3 fourths. That would be a complex fraction. Notice that our denominator is another fraction. Or the numerator and the denominator could both be fractions. For example, we could have 2 thirds over 5 sixths. These are all complex fractions, fractions that have other fractions within them. Now I'll show you how to simplify these by working through a couple of examples. In this first one we have 2 thirds over 5 sevenths. Just remember that the fraction bar means division. So 2 thirds over 5 sevenths is the same as 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths. So take note that we're dividing by a fraction. And dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this problem and instead of a division problem I'm going to make it a multiplication problem. Instead of writing 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths I'll write 2 thirds times 7 fifths. Instead of dividing by a fraction I have multiplied by the reciprocal of that fraction. Now notice the 2 thirds didn't get flipped over. It stays as 2 thirds. I'm dividing by 5 sevenths. So that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 5 sevenths. But my numerator doesn't get flipped upside down. Now we know how to do this. We know how to multiply two fractions. We multiply the numerators 2 times 7, that gives us 14, and multiply the denominators. 3 times 5 gives us 15, and that's our answer, 14 fifteenths. And now let's do the next example. 1 fifteenth divided by 2 ninths. We'll rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem. So I can write this as 1 fifteenth, and instead of dividing by 2 ninths, we can say that's the same as multiplying by 9 over 2. So 1 15th times 9 halves. And we can simplify this a little bit. The 15 and the 9 are both divisible by 3, so let's divide each of those by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now let's multiply the numerators, and we get 3, and multiply the denominators, and we get 10, so 3 tenths is our answer. 